Welcome to this AI Productathon session by Feedback First, where we are going to see how you can build your own video search engine from scratch using Google's Video Intelligence APIs, which is a low-code solution. So for those of you who thought, okay, AI product requires a lot of coding experience, you need to be hands-on tech ninja and all that, no need to think about it from that perspective. You have a lot of solutions out there. And if you can use an API in your code, maybe learn basics of Python and use APIs, you should be able to build a complex product, something like a video search engine that lets you search for words inside a video, right? You can build something like that pretty easily. That's exactly what we're going to see. Now, what is the problem that is solved with video search engine? Why do we need a video search engine? So you don't build a AI product for the sake of building it. What exactly is the main problem that we're trying to solve here? One of the students of the Feedback First program, he had a lot of tutorials, a lot of videos, a lot of AI case studies, everything that he has collected over years. And the biggest challenge has always been finding the right videos based on topic of his choice. Let us say you have a bunch of videos that talk about Netflix case studies, how Netflix has built recommendation engines and all that. And you store those videos in different folders, different locations in your laptop. And you are trying to find out what are all those videos that correspond to Netflix, which actually utter the word Netflix. What are all the videos that talk about Apple case studies? What are all the videos that talk about Blackberries case studies, right? So those are the kind of, that is the use case that we are trying to find out. So once you upload a video, can AI automatically generate the transcript and not only generate the transcript, but also identify a logo that shows up in the video and try to extract the text inside that video, right? And also extract the labels shown in that video. If any text actually shows up in the background in that video, can AI model actually analyze that and capture that, right? And pro Provided with all this information, now you're going to build a search database right, using a search engine, which is again powered by machine learning models. You can quickly pinpoint as to what is the exact video which contains this information. That is exactly what this product is trying to solve. It's trying to make your job of finding a needle in a haystack. Pretty simple. Okay, now let us look at how this video search engine pipeline is built out. The first thing is user uploads content. User can upload tutorials, recordings, webinars. And then you, the, the user, once the videos get uploaded, the AI modules in the backend. So for this sake of demonstration, we are going to look at Google's Video Intelligence API, which will automatically look at the video, generates the transcript, also identifies different text snippets that were shown in the background in the video, and also the labels in the video. It is going to look at all that. And then it is going to, once it identifies that, it is going to now store the insight, push the insights into the backend database. Right? So in our case, we're going to use MongoDB, which is really good for unstructured content. And then once the content is stored in the database, the user gets notified. User search for, searches for a topic, let us say Netflix. All the videos where the word Netflix was uttered. And then the machine learning models are going to generate embedding for the Netflix word for the search topic. And they're also going to generate embeddings for all the text that is stored in the database. And it will apply similarity, cosine similarity, which we have seen in one of the previous videos, and then finds the best match. It returns the results to the user and based on user's feedback about the search result, search results are going to be further out. We're also going to track how the user is going to interact with the search result. Did he like the search result? Was it disappointed by the search result? Will he can easily find out whether the user clicked on that video, which was rendered as for a search result or not. Based on that, the models will continue to take feedback and it will be further optimized. So this is how the end-to-end -end video search engine pipeline looks like. And this is the tech stack for the video search engine. So everything was built on top of Google Cloud Platform. We use that for the infrastructure aspect of it. VMs, App Engine, cloud storage containers, and the backend involves Python, Python programming, and we also use MongoDB and the APIs from Google Cloud, right? so which automatically uh, relieved us of the burden of reinventing the wheel. No need to reinvent the wheel with respect to identifying common objects. If you do something very domain specific, probably then we need to build custom video 
analysis models from scratch. But because we were looking, we were happy with whatever Google has trained, and they have probably the best accuracy among AWS and Azure with respect to video intelligence. And then the front end is simple bootstrap, HTML, CSS, JavaScript, jQuery. Now, how is this implemented in action? Right, let us have a look at that. Let me also show you the demo aspect of it. So this is a video that we are going to analyze. Right? As you can see, uh, this is a video that talks about a regular day in the life of a sales manager. Right? So we are going to see, as you can see, I'm not only looking at transcripting, but also identify this text that appears in the movie, in, in this video. And also appear any logos. Let us say you have a Microsoft logo somewhere in this room. I should be able to also capture that. That's what Google's Video Intelligence API does. It also, it is translating what this kid is saying. It is also capturing the text that is showing up in the video captions. And then it is also going to identify any logos or labels that are going to appear. Okay, so this is what we are going to analyze. This is the video that we're going to analyze. Now, how are we going to analyze this? Okay, so let me just show you the demo aspect of it here. So we have built this portal called phantomdrive.app. Right, this is a platform which we are using to, which we are currently in, it's in still development phase, where the goal is to let any person, any product manager, build AI products on his own without being worried about coding problems and all that. Right, And then here I'm going to click on build an AI product and I'm going to give my credentials here. Let me just type in credentials. Right? And then I click on submit. Now I'll be directed to the dashboard. And there are a bunch of AI products that you can build, right? So the product that I'm going to show you today is the that one which talks about video search engine, right? Along with video search engine, you also have image analyzer, right? You also have textbook chatbot. You also have video search engine and audiobook generator. We'll see how other products are built in subsequent sessions, right? Now I'm focused on video search engine. So I'm going to go to video search engine here. And then these are all some of the videos that I already have available. Let me now upload a video. Right, so here I'm saying uh, the video is that of uh, day in the life of a sales rep. Right, day in the life of a sales rep. Okay, and then I'm going to choose this file from my machine. We are also looking at automatically integrating this with all of the cloud platforms. But for now, I'm going to just look at uh, the machine here, my local machine. Right. And then, yeah, so this is that video, a day in the life of a Oracle sales rep. So yeah, going through your day. And then I click on upload. It will start uploading. So where is this going to be uploaded? We are going to store this in Google Cloud Storage. I can store the video in the database. But in order for this video intelligence API to work, it has to, the data has to be stored in the Google Cloud Storage, object storage, which is cheap. And that is where this particular video is going to be uploaded. And as you can see, because the video is a slightly is video, right? It requires depends on the bandwidth and all that. We were able to now successfully upload. Now this video is now in cloud storage, right? And I can close this and now the pipeline gets triggered. Now the intelligence API is now trying to analyze this video, right? And it's trying to extract details. Now, what kind of details is it extracting? Let us stay, look at from uh, whatever data that we already have here. And if I click on this particular a video. Okay, so there is a glitch in the matrix. Let me click on this particular video. Right, these are the three things that typically gets analyzed. In the meantime, the upload video is getting analyzed. Let us look at some other video, sample video. Right, it uploads, it generates the transcript. It also identifies the text snippet in the video, as I mentioned, and it also identifies the labels that are shown in the video. Right, and all this information is also dumped into the MongoDB database. Where a separate set of machine learning models, which were running in the background, they are going to generate the embeddings and make it ready for you to actually understand which values are, uh, which search topics can user use, and then accordingly come up with this responses. Right? Let me also show you how the search actually works. Let us say I'm looking for videos where a word, a person named Alice was referred. Right? If I click on Alice, it will now show me, okay, this is a video in which Alice appears, right? And here, as you can see, Alice is the name of the person in that video, medical sales rep, right? And uh, you have text snippets coming in from that video and the label seen in this video, right? So this were the labels, as you can see, mobile device was actually the objects that were shown in that video. And these are the different text snippets, dates, right? And logos, company name that, that were shown in the video. You can easily find them here, okay? And what else 
can you extract using this video intelligence API? Okay, so let me also showcase uh, that aspect of it. So what else can you actually uh, showcase from this video intelligence API part? So you need to go to Google video intelligence API documentation. And here, as you can see, you are not only going to generate the transcript, right? If I just scroll down here, you are also going to look at, you can detect faces, you can detect people, detect short changes, even detect explicit content. I track objects, recognize logos, recognize text, transcribe. That's what we just did, transcription. Right, long running operations. If you want to perform anything of that sort, you can do all these things using that video intelligence API. Now, in, if you are, if your core proposition is differentiating factor, is building a video search engine where video, you want to build your own video intelligence models, you can do that. But it takes a lot of time to build them. Right, what you can do is you can start with Google's APIs, collect information, collect feedback from users as to what are those areas where there is improvement needed. Maybe there are some logos that were not explicitly uh, classified by Google's APIs. And try to collect that data and then build a model that just works on those things that Google was unable to solve. Rather than building everything from scratch, which will take a lot of time and effort, you can actually collect only that data that Google is unable to categorize and build a model that tackles that particular problem. Right? That way, it will be easy for you to build a scalable solution. That's what we are doing. So we are also trying to capture, based on the search result that uh, the user got here, is the user going to click on this record in this video or not? He got, he was looking for Alice. Right? I clicked on it, which means the search result made sense. I was actually interested in that video. Right? So that's exactly how we were able to track whether the user liked the search result or not. I can also take explicit feedback. How much, to, how well do you recommend this search result with everybody else? Right now, the million-dollar question: How do you integrate with uh, Google API? Right? What are the steps involved in getting started with Google API? Right. So, as you can see from this link, it's pretty simple. First thing, you need to create a service account with uh, Google Cloud Platform, and then you need to enable the required API. Make sure that billing is enabled, and then once you have the service account credentials, you need to download them into a JSON file, right? And then keep the JSON file, and then you need to choose the language of your choice. So how exactly you want to integrate this. So let us say if you're using Python, right? In that case, you will be looking at different code samples. Right? Let me, you need to click on using client libraries here. And once you click on client libraries, now you choose whether you are looking at it in Python or Node.js, right? I'm looking at Python. So I go to Python, okay? And, in, and then in my environment where I'm building this, I'm going to install the Google Cloud Video Intelligence API, right? And then you are going to now detect, this is a code, right? So you're going to use this code to detect labels. So we, we use Flask framework here. Right? We use Flask framework to figure out what happens when somebody clicks on video. Right? So let us say, for example, yeah, video, right? Once the user clicks on video, now this is a page that is going to render. Once the user uploads video, then it is going to now send this video to Google Cloud Storage. Right? And then once it goes to Google Cloud Storage, that's when the processing actually happens, starts happening. So as you can see, right, this is where once the video is uploaded, you are seeing the video being stored in the Cloud Storage bucket, right? And then you are going to also start analyzing that video transcription starting. You're going to call this transcribe on the speech method, which is part of this library, which is going to in turn perform that analysis. And based on what you are interested in, you can get different um, uh, use cases tackled by using different code snippets. And code snippets are ready-made, right? You need not worry about uh, using it. All you probably need to worry about is cleaning up the output. So these code snippets give output in particular direction, particular format. You probably need to solve, I mean, take care of that. So as long as you're able to clean it up, you should be good with this, right? So this is how you can build a video search engine. So once that video transcript is generated, then you go to MongoDB. Right? And then create a database for that particular video. Okay. And then you try to, so you go to videos, right? And then you will see how the video, the, the video of the, the latest video that got uh, created here, right? And then you will see how exactly uh, the transcript is generated. As you can see, right? Day of the image, life of uh, the transcript has been generated. The text in video, right? Has been identified. So this is a text, this is a title that Oracle logos and all that comments, all this is a text that was shown in the video. Right, and then if I just scroll down, I mean, this, there's just so much text that was completely identified. And then you can also look at uh, 
uh, labels in video, right? What are the different labels that were identified? Right? So if I just click on this here, right, you will see all the different logos that were identified by by in the video. Right? I can see the same result in the video search engine page also. If I just come here, if I just scroll down, right, I will see this video just shows up, showed up here, which means the processing is complete. The user will be notified. And it didn't identify any labels. There are no labels here, but these are the text snippets that were identified, and this is the transcript of that video. Right? So this is how you can build a video search engine. Right? And once you create, store this data into the MongoDB, now the search, searchable information has been populated. Right? And as you can see, it's very simple. If you think of it, if you use APIs, it doesn't take much time to build this. And this is how you can easily build an AI product. Right? There are multiple ways, depending on your bandwidth, depending on your capabilities, you can choose different ways to build an AI product. Okay. And if you are, if you have your own ideas and if you want to build something from scratch, there's something that actually, um, which is not available in the Phantom Day platform. So do share with us what your ideas are. And we are definitely, your mentor is definitely going to help you build this AI products.